So in this chamber, I've had nylon under vacuum, the vacuum similar to that which is experienced in space for over 15 years. Nylon is no longer flown in space because it acts as a charge isolation center. Charge from the solar wind accumulates within the nylon, and the only way for it to go away is through a catastrophic discharge or an arc, which is not good for delicate electronic equipment. We're doing this so that we can understand and perhaps posture ourselves while on orbit to mitigate any potential effects from strong solar flares would open us up to having electronic discharge. So we have a set of electrodes. There are six samples spread around on a disc and there's a probe on each one to be able to measure its capacitance. So right now what we're trying to understand is we have these assets that are already flying. How do we protect them? We can isolate variables, we can understand what's happening, and so when something goes wrong, we have a clue as to what it was. I think we'll have a better understanding of how nylon and other materials work in a space environment to be able to address these older satellites that have them on board um, so that we can protect them, take care of them, so they operate as long as possible. If we can understand uh, the physical properties of the material, we can better understand how it interacts with the solar wind. I'm Robert Fisher, and I'm a physicist at Northrop Grumman.